Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to create a database project using Visual Studio 2022. Uh, if you have any prior version of Visual Studio, that is also fine. It, the same concept will work in earlier versions of Visual Studio as well. So if you don't have Visual Studio, then I have a video on that. You can check the link in the description and you can install Visual Studio in your machine. Uh, when you install Visual Studio, SQL Server Express should also get installed in your machine. You can double check if it is uh, there or not in order to check that. So go to your you know uh, local machine and then type Visual Studio here and you can see Visual Studio installer like this should come up. Click on this. As you can see, I have this communication installed. So you go to modify. You go to individual components and in the search, uh, search for SQL Server. So I have just typed SQL and all these things came up. So you can see I have SQL Server Express 2019 edition. Okay. So, uh, so if you have any prior versions also, it is fine. I will show you how to, you know, change and connect to a specific SQL Server Express version. Now let's close this and go back to our visual studio so this is my visual studio window open here so you can open your visual studio and then click on create a new project here in the search bar type database and you can see a uh, see a template like this come up here like sql server database project so select this click on next here give any name to your project so for example, in my case, it is, uh, let's say, white 2 demo db, okay? YT demo db. So that is YouTube demo db. So this is, my, this is the name of my project. Uh, and then it will be stored in this particular location. Then let's click on create. Now the project has been created. Uh, you can see on the right hand side uh, in the solution explorer uh, we don't have anything but it is an empty project right now so if you don't have a solution explorer or we cannot see solution explorer on this uh, in the right hand side you can go here and click on view solution explorer and this will come up okay then uh, you also need to see this sql server object explorer window for that also you need to go here and then click on this sql server object explorer window now here uh, i have to uh, add one uh, i have to connect to my local sql server express edition so i will right click this and then add sql server so here you can see a window like this will come up so click on this local and uh, i have multiple instances of sql server that's why you can see all these things uh, but mostly in your case you will only see one here so click on that so sql express and then leave rest of the things as it is uh, so because it is for local development so let's uh, keep everything as it is what you can do is select this uh, the last one here server certificate set it to true otherwise you will not be able to connect so set it to true and then click on connect so for the timing we will leave this database name as empty i will show you how to create the database name later but just leave everything else as it is and click on connect now you can see this connection has come up here on the left side so you can see a database folder as well but there is no database inside it so right click this and click on add new database give a name to your database let's give something else so demo db yeah so this is our demo db uh, database and we don't have anything inside this so there are no uh, custom tables i have not created any tables yet right i don't want to create any tables directly uh, inside the database because the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to do it outside of the database which means how to do it through your uh, visual studio right okay so once you have created this uh, database here you have to refresh it otherwise you will not be able to see it in your uh, solution explorer so click on this refresh uh, button here and now this is refreshed so which means when we import it to our database uh, uh, project here it should be available so right click import database click on select connection go to 
go to browse and here select SQL Express and then make it as true and then click on so here yeah click on this right this time uh, the database name and we have to select the demo db now connect and uh, leave rest of the things as it is and click on start so now it will, it will import all the database settings to our project now everything has been imported so click on finish uh, so the next step here is to add a table before uh, you do that uh, what you can do is double click this properties here and check if you you have the right instances instance targeted here so for example visual studio 2022 targets sql server 2022 by default or a azure sql database uh, uh, is targeted here so what you need to do for example in my case i have sql server 2019 right so i will be selecting this one otherwise i will not be able to publish so you'll, you'll get an error in that case so in order to get rid of that error you need to select this to the right version okay so whatever if you have 2017 also it is fine but you need to select it here so let's now save it and close the next step is to add a table so right click again the project and here you can see a add and then go back here go down here and then select table you can see a lot of this kind of templates available so what we need to do is select this uh, table uh, table name here and then give a name to your table for example in my case i will say student so my table name is student click on add and you can see a window like this opens up which has a default id inside it let's add some more uh, fields here so one of the fields could be like name and uh, let's make it like 100 characters then city uh, let's make it again 100 characters and perhaps also uh, date of birth okay and so let's select uh, date so uh, title type as date so now we have this uh, we have added all these things uh, to this table so let's uh, again save this and now you can see that although it is here in the database project it is still not available in the database here right so so this is so there is nothing here right now so what we can do is now publish this so here right click again the project and then you will have a publish uh, text here so click on that publish and again you have to ensure that you are connecting to the right thing so which is demo db click on ok so now we are connecting to demo db and a script let's say yt demo db script will also be created you have to then click on publish now before we go to publish i will also want to show you another thing uh, you can click on this generate script to generate a script which can then be used to uh, publish the database, uh, database uh, whatever changes you have done uh, to your database project, like whatever tables you have created or columns you have added, you can publish it through a script as well. Okay, so let's click on the gender script and then you can see a .sql file like this got created, right? So it contains all the things which is there in your database so if whatever tables you have added all those tables will get created or that code for to create the table will be added to the script and someone could at, could actually do a manual update so you can send it to your dba and dba can run it on your let's say you want to publish it to a production environment they can publish it manually or you can also integrate this with uh, your github and then a pipeline right so you you uh, you store everything in your github repository all the scripts and then uh, whatever version you want to publish so through the pipeline you can publish it to your production database instance so that is uh, you know the right way of doing it but for local development you don't need this script uh, like i'm uh, as i'm doing if you're a developer you are working locally you want to ensure that everything works locally uh, with your database your code works properly and then once you are happy with everything then you can connect 
to a server instance and run the script or on the server through a pipeline or through manually or any other way. In this case, uh, I have created the table. Now the next step as I showed you is to publish it. So let's again click on this publish and everything looks right. But this database again, you have to select the database here. So which is the demo DB. So it is now uh, connected to the database. So the connection string is, is not connected, but the connection string is correct now. So let's click on publish. So it will now create a connection and then it will start publishing. Now everything has been successfully published. You can see the message here, successfully published. So let's go to SQL Server and refresh this. So you can see a new dot student has come up here. Now let's see what columns has been created and you can see name, city, date of birth, all has been created as per our uh, setting which we have provided inside the database project. So what other things you can do is, let's say you want to uh, delete a column, right? So let's say I don't want date of birth, I want to remove this, so let me remove this. And then again, once you remove it, you can, uh, you have to do a publish, every, every change has to be published to the database. So again, follow the same process, select your connection and then click on publish. So now publish completed successfully, again go back here and again you have to refresh it so your student table is here columns and you can see that column is not there anymore so that column has been removed so that's how you uh, add tables or you then update any you know alter the tables uh, if you want to remove anything or if you want to add anything you can do that the next thing uh, you follow the same process next but the next thing which i want to tell you is how to drop a table right so you have you let's say you have a number of tables here but uh, at some point you decide that you want to drop a table now it is a dangerous thing to do uh, if you have a lot of data in the table and you by mistake you know drop the table it is you know uh, so it will cause loss of data so what you should do that's why you should keep everything in your uh, you should check in everything to your github repository so that you have a version there you can get that version and recreate the table okay uh, but again you perhaps for data you need to take a database backup or something and keep it there so let's see how we can drop it uh, since you're a developer you should also know this so again right click and uh, publish select your connection now here you have you have this advanced option so click on this advanced option and go to this drop tag here you select this particular checkbox here drop objects in target but not in source so select this click on ok yeah so this is this is what you should do when you want to drop it now i have not dropped anything yet so what i'll do is i'll cancel this and then remove this sql instance right so delete so it is now getting deleted from here but it is not actually dropped in the in the actual database it is still there even if you refresh it it will still be there right because we have not published it yet so it's still there right so what i'm going to do is i publish this so i don't have this sql student sql anymore so when i publish this it will know that this has been removed so this will also be removed in the target database so right click publish and click on your cousin and here go to advanced drop let's select this click on ok and publish now it has been successfully published so you can go back to go back to your sql server instance and then refresh it and as you can see here that table is not there anymore so it has been removed so that is how you add or alter or drop tables and you know do other things also so you can do a lot of things the process is the same so just follow the process and you will be able to uh, successfully work with your database project using visual studio 2022 hope you have liked this video uh, if so please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get regular notifications about such any such interesting videos in future thanks for watching